Hi, it's Cora, and we're here at Yoga Bloom Lab and online. And I'm here again with my Boga System, awesome three mat Boga System. And I wanted to show you how I use the Boga to get into some of my seated poses. So, as I said before, or on some of the other videos, I've got this three mat system. You wouldn't have to have it. Um, these are set up in line with the system this way horizontally. You could also set it up the other way and you would you just have one. But it's pretty amazing to have three of them all together. Uh, you can really check your alignment. In this situation, we're just going to see the alignment of my legs. But it's a pretty cool system, so check it out with me. I am going to come, so I've set up a blanket, you see right in between the dots here, so that I know that my bum is seated right here, that my sit bones are sitting on the blanket. I can tell that my feet, when my toes want to move away or one foot wants to get lazy, so I'm pressing against the wall. And I can just reach up here. I can just reach forward. Let's just do this. And begin to sit upright, oh, feeling that lift here before I begin a fold, coming into Paschimottanasana. And sometimes this body feels a little bit schlumpy. You know, it feels like tired and collapsed from sitting on the computer too much. So one of the ways it's nice is to sit up, but then you can actually use this and take the bars up higher, hold on, clasp on, and actually pull. So do you see what happens here? As I'm collapsed, I can actually pull up. So just watch again, that area of my body, but as I pull, I rotate the pelvis. Now for some people, you can also hold on wider. It might be helpful for the shoulder. In my case, this feels nice. So you see as I lengthen the body and I come forward, oh, I can just feel the sensation of the torso lengthening as I come into the forward fold. As I release down, I can even take my hands underneath, lengthen more. Always watching the feet, making sure that the feet are on target, and then just walking down. And again, just lengthening. Mm. Paschimottanasana. Now, the same thing can happen here for Janu Shoshasana, head to knee pose, right? Yummy. But let's just take this leg. I'm going to bring my leg into the bent leg position. Again, still washing my feet. I can use the bars again to pull. But now, you know how sometimes it feels short here? Watch this. I can pull, and now I can walk over, and I can, oh, I can reach, reach over, and even reach outside, and lengthen. And when I get this nice length here, I can come back, pull myself forward, and come down. Into Janashashasana position. So of course I would do that on the other side, but just to show you, we'll just stop here. But can you see how getting this rotation of moving oh, and hanging just can lengthen through here. But the nicest part of these forward folds is getting this sensation that you get space here between the pelvis and the floating ribs. So this is how I like to practice my forward folds. So for now, that's my tip for today. See you next time. Young Blue Lab.